heroes of every age. Wouldn't you like to see something strange? Come with us and you will see. This is our town of Halloween. This is Halloween. This is Welcome to GTV. These are your morning announcements for Monday, October 26, 2015. Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance and the Lancer Creed. Please begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. We believe our differences make us stronger, our similarities make us one. We are family, Lancer is more than a title, Granger is more than a school. We stand up, stand strong, stand together, we are Granger! Thanks, guys. And now we have a special special message from Mr. Gaddy. Take it away, Mr. Gaddy. Good morning, Lancers. It's Dr. Gaddy uh, coming to you to talk to you a little bit about the attendance fines that some of you have accumulated over the last quarter. Remember, all of you received 10 free tardies, and you had no unexcused absences that you could have, or you would be fined after the 10 tardies or the first unexcused absence. So. Uh, some, of, some students have accumulated quite a bit of money in those fines and we have three ways for you to remediate those fines. One way is you can pay them. Some of you have $400 in attendance fines uh, and so that would be a lot of money. So we come up with two other ways for you to remedy or uh, help fix these fines. One way is in room D210 after school Monday through Thursday from 2.20 to 3.50, you have the opportunity to stay 90 minutes each day. Every 90 minutes you stay is worth $5. So kind of the rationale behind that is a class is 90 minutes long, so if you missed a class, you make up a class by coming for 90 minutes after school. When you come, you must have something to do. You can't be on your phone, and you can't be sleeping. If you're reading a magazine, doing homework, reading a book, any of those things are great. If you're drawing for an art class, that's great too but you have to have something to do when you come to D210 after school each day. Also, you don't have to stay the whole 90 minutes. You can stay in 30 minute blocks. So if you have something to do at four o'clock uh, and you can stay from 220 to 350 and then you, or 220 to 250 and then you've gotta go, we'll track that and as soon as you get to 90 minutes, we'll give you a $5 credit. So that will make up for one unexcused absence or five tardies because each tardy after 10 was worth $1 fine each. So. Basically, your 90-minute stay is worth $5. That's the second way. So the first way is pay. The second way is stay after school in room D210. The third way is probably the most awesome way if you can get to class on time every day. From the first day of the second quarter till the last day of that first midterm, if you are perfect, you have no tardies and no unexcused absences, we will take the half of the fines that you uh, earned in the first quarter and eliminate them. So if you're somebody who has $500 in attendance fines and you're perfect from day one to the last day of the midterm, we will eliminate half your fines. Then the first day of the second half of the term till the end of that term is worth the other half. So if you're perfect the whole quarter, we forgive all of your fines from the first quarter. If you're perfect for the first half of that quarter, we forgive the first half, 50% of your fines and if you don't go perfect the first half, but you're perfect from the second half of the quarter till the end, we will also forgive a half. So, Lancers, we hope that you take these opportunities and start working on them now. Also, remember, seniors, you have to have a 2.0 CPA to graduate and to participate in graduation. So, if you don't have a 2.0, we will be posting that list after this quarter. You'll start working on those hours. Again, those are in D210. After school time can really be used for three purposes all at the same time. You can be doing packets, you could be remediating fines, and you can also be remediating CPA so that you can participate in graduation. Lancers, that's a lot of information. If you have any questions, come see me or any of your counselors or any of our administrators and we can go over this with you. But again, the best way to do it is to be perfect and it eliminates all of your fines. 
uh, if you're perfect. So hopefully that works for you, Lancers. Let's get those taken care of so we don't run into any problems toward the end of the year. Have a great day. See ya. We have changed the date of the Multicultural Volleyball Tournament to November 6 because the date is coming up, the, coming up. The deadline for the teams interested in playing in the Double Elimination Tournament to sign up will be October 29th. All teams need a, co need a teacher or staff or a coach, 8 to 12 people on the team, a team name and a uniform since there will be a prize for the best uniform most creative. Each team needs to represent many cultures. See Miss West, Miss Weston in room K109. Get your teams finalized and get them in. Woo! Good luck, guys. We're having our People of the World meeting in room K121 at 2.30 p.m. tomorrow on Tuesday. Kiai will be presenting. And dance practice will be right after the meeting, guys. So don't forget to go. All DECA members, Tuesday we will finalize our trip to the Snow College Invitational. Please come so that I can get a count of who's going. Thank you from Mr. Pace. Attention Scholars Pathway, AVID and National Art Honor Society students. Rolling Hills Elementary is looking for 10 to 15 students who would like to have fun volunteering at their school carnival this Wednesday, 5.30 to 8 p.m. Volunteers will help run the games, activities, and help clean up afterwards, and will need to wear Granger gear. To participate, students must sign up after school today, Monday, October 26th, with Ms. H in room E106. Attention scholars, Pathway, and AVID students. Key Club needs your help. If you are interested in volunteering with the donation drive for America's Homeless Youth Program during the Stomp on November 13th, please attend the Key Club meeting on November 2nd in the lecture hall at 2.30, where we will assign you to a committee. Calling all members of National Art Honor Society. Important meeting right after school today. October 26th in U208, Ms. Matthews' room. We will discuss our t-shirt design and upcoming deadlines. Attention all Native American students. There is a Native Nations Club meeting on October 29th this Thursday in D116 at 2.20. An election will be held, so make sure to be there. Tickets are now on sale for our fall production of You're in Town the Musical. There are six hours in advance or seven at the door. If you buy four for one night, you get a fifth for free. You can purchase them through a member of the cast here at Granger or online at lancerwebstore.com. VIP package is also available, and in the package is a lot of things, like concessions and tickets and... Stuff? Yeah, I, and like seating. Free dinner. And cars. No, dinner. It's just dinner. Parking! I don't know what's happening. And parking. <laughs> oh, early admittance, VIP seating and parking and a special gift. Get them before they sell out. For more details, visit www.grangertheater.com. Hey, Lancers, tonight at 7 p.m. in the auditorium, your singing Lancers will be putting on their fall choir concert. Come and support your friends in Glee, Mixed Choir, Concert Choir, and The Magicals. It is free, and we hope to see you there. Attention Native American students. There will be a field trip to Utah State University on Friday, October 30th. If you are interested in going, please see Mr. Platero in the Parent Center this Thursday to pick up your permission slips. The keynote speaker is Sherman Alexi, a Native American author. So don't miss out on this once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to hear this great speaker. Stop by to pick a flyer. Yay! Come to the Dia de los Muertos dance on October 29th from 7 to 10 p.m. We will have excellent music, a photo booth, food for sale, activities, and the following contest. Dance contest, best face painting, best duo costume, etc. And remember, no weapons and you can only paint half of your face. And that's it, it for your announcement. $3 per person. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> or five for two. That's it for GTV. That's it. I really thought that was the end, though. I, didn't, I thought you already said the number. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, guys. Okay.